Uh, by the way, we do accept five fifty and hundred dollar bills at this establishment. Two things. Those from Texas joining us with uh, a video. We're not going to preach, so you don't have to turn off the video yet. We're just going to have a real short song and um, say a few things about uh, the anniversary. Um, happy anniversary, mom and dad. It's not often that you get to um, be in a wedding um, and then help them celebrate their 25th also. <laughs> I did, and Beth did, and uh, we were the candlelight, candle lighters in the wedding. But uh, happy anniversary and many more. Rocky, you want to say something? As the baby of the family, I'd like to uh, wish you a happy 25th anniversary. and. Uh, Family, I was the only one that wasn't there. Just baby fat. <laughs> <laughs> baby muscle. But anyway, uh, we can argue about that later. Uh, but I think probably the best the, the best thing that uh, has happened throughout my life is that uh, I had a Christian heritage. And uh, I appreciate that. And uh, happy anniversary. 25 more good ones, though. Well, I was real glad Rocky came along because I was a baby until he came along. So they provided me with my baby brother. I had wanted a baby something for a long time so that I wouldn't be the baby. So Rocky was my baby uh, friend. I helped raise him. He got to whip him and change his diapers and all that. But uh, I'm thankful also that Rocky did so my little speech. Uh, I think of all the things that I'm thankful for is that God blessed me with two great parents, the greatest people in my life, people that... Um, taught me all about the Lord, and not only taught me, but they showed me by example. And for that, I'm thankful. I'm not expecting any great uh, inheritance or anything when they, if they leave before the Lord comes, which I don't think they will. But I'm thankful also for the heritage that they have provided me, a spiritual heritage they've actually passed on to me. I guess you could say eternal life, because in teaching me about the plan of salvation, that's what it means to me. It means that I can live forever, and so I'm thankful for my parents because they have passed on a rich heritage, one that will last through eternity. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that I can be here to celebrate their 25 years with them. And I wish them many more happy years also. Well, Tracy should be in between us, but since she's not here, I know she would have liked to have something to say. Yeah, 
but there are special circumstances surrounding this couple. It's hard enough at times for a marriage to remain strong trying to raise a family. I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone here that Brother Creel, Jim, and in the tape they kept calling him Lenio, and I just can't, that's not natural to me, so I'm going with Jim. <laughs> Jim had a ready-made family when he and Anna Dean married. I've been on both sides of that fence, and I know it couldn't have been easy for them at times. When my mother passed away, I was very young, but I know there would have been a resentment from my brothers and sisters toward anyone my dad would have remarried. When my husband and I married, he also had a ready-made family, and I can tell you there are times when that isn't easy. It is very commendable on Anna Dean's part to literally have raised children that were not hers biologically, but in her heart, she loved Jim so much to take on that responsibility. That is a deep love. Now I've heard Brother Creel say that he has had to hold back his temper at times, but I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> it takes a special man to pastor a church. Now Anna Dean saw something in Jim that made her love for him surpass any obstacles thrown in their way. That's a deep love. These two people are definitely their own separate persons but together they're quite a team. They're fun and interesting at times to work with. Whether it's making tamales, painting the church, setting up or cooking on a hibachi, they're always fun to be around. If a disagreement comes up between them, they each state their case lovingly and go on about the business at hand. They have the utmost respect for each other.